Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. This time we're going to look at a performance I did in a league called the Vitanar League, which I did a couple of months back and it's a big racing esports competition, big money behind it, big prize pool, big teams, some of the top drivers in sim racing do it and I thought it was a good opportunity to show you obviously what the league's like, how it works. It's a very unique format but at the same time show you the performance that I delivered because I was very happy with it. Uh, yeah, I was. I'm, be I'm being cocky but I was very happy with it. I said it, let's get straight into it. So there was a semi-final and a final, but a group stage as well. We won our group, McLaren, and in McLaren there was Least and Brian, the team principal, me, Isaac Gillison, Elvin Smith were the drivers, and we're up against Team Redline, for those who don't know, one of the best sim racing teams in the world. And they've got Atsy Kirkhoff, Michael Schmidl, Enzo Benito's in there as well, so very, very good lineup. And the tracks, Silverstone, uh, Monza, Mugello, Spa, Yas Marina, for each matchup, you could pick two tracks and there was two races done at each track, a relay race and a team race. And we're gonna start off with the first relay race, excuse me, at Silverstone. And I always started the relay races for our team and I was up against Enzo Benito who started for Team Redline. And effectively, each driver does one lap apart from one driver who does the Joker lap. And I tended to do the Joker lap. Um, so in total four laps, a very, very short race. The start's very important. The dirty air and the slipstream in these cars, extremely important. And you can see there I'm defending into turn one. Uh, no, turn three, what am I on about? <laughs> There's a bug there. Elvin Smith is stated as the driver in the McLaren car. That's wrong. I am the one in the car. And the game's on a set of Corsa, if you hadn't already noticed. So going into Brooklyn's end, defending really hard. He's going to go around the outside. We're not going to give him any room on the exit aggressive but you had to be so aggressive on the starts because if he got through it would have been it would have been race over it's so hard to overtake and i mean the driver can make a mistake don't, be, don't get me wrong but it's very difficult and cops just about flatten these cars these cars relative to an f1 car slightly quicker on the straights maybe uh, maybe about the same but in the corners definitely a bit slower they're lacking a bit of downforce and they got a v10 in the back as well obviously the v10 r league if you hadn't already noticed. And you, if you saw the mirrors there, Enzo Benito spun going through maggots. And uh, that was basically, at this point, race over. So, um, or was it? Because, you know, that he's lost about 15 or 20 seconds. He ain't going to get that back in three laps. Um, so I'm going to do the Joker lap, as I usually did in these races. And this matchup, as you can see, Enzo's, Enzo's box in there is miles behind us now. Um, this matchup was for third and fourth in the tournament, so there was quite a big financial difference finishing third to fourth. We both missed out on the final, and if you look there in the results, we lost that matchup. We lost that race because uh, we had a disconnect in the pit stops, even though we were leading comfortably. So 1-0 red line going into the team race. I was on pole, team red line second, third and fourth, then Elvin, then Isaac, or the other way around. So. It was, this was going to be a tough race. I mean, if I kept it clean, if I was aggressive on the start and maintained the lead and then kept it clean for the rest of it, I know I had the pace to kind of pull away from the red line boys, um, but that could be in vain because if I won, but Elvin and Isaac finished fifth and sixth, we would have drawn on points and then there wouldn't be a winner of the race. So that would still result in it being 1-0 team red line going into the final two races at Yas Marina. So... Um, if Elvin or Isaac finish fourth, we win the race on points and it would be 1-0. So I needed Isaac and Elvin really to get amongst it and uh, just take a couple of points off Team Redline. But I mean, it's easier said than done. You know, the Redline boys are all really, really fast, as are Isaac and Elvin. Um, I just, for some reason, suited this car really well in this season. And on this day, uh, an important day, um, I managed to deliver a really, really good set of performances. I mean qualified on pole by half a tenth on my final lap in quali which put me on pole for this race in the relay race shoved off Enzo at the start and we would have won that if we didn't have a disconnect in the team race you can clearly see here pulling away from team red line and uh I well I don't want to spoil it too early but I don't actually know when the finish is coming so I'm trying to keep you on on your toes but um and can we appreciate by the way the McLaren shadow livery is absolutely it's just fire Mate, it looks sick. The red line one looks good, but the McLaren one looks naughty. Looks really good. Um, anyway, so Elvin and Isaac still in fifth and sixth, but they're close. Uh, but as I say, if the car in front 
doesn't make a mistake, it's hard to really get past. The dirty air is so bad in the corners. You lose grip, high speed, medium speed, low speed, traction zones, even under braking, you lose grip everywhere. The slipstream's good. You need to be within seven tenths, but it's not enough to kind of outweigh that dirty air. So me, I think this is me, coming through the final corner. Is that the finish? <laughs> It might well be, I don't know. I don't know yet. But we, we were driving very smoothly, and there you go, the, the result of the team race. We won the race by about three seconds to Enzo. Um, unfortunately, Elvin and Isaac finished fifth and sixth. So that was a draw. 1-0 Team Red Line going into Yas Marina. Yas Marina on this, on this game, a set of course, was a bit of a weird version of it. But relay race, I'm starting again. So is Enzo Benito going into turn one. Really aggressive. We tag wheels. We shove him out a bit on the exit. Again, it says Elvin Smith is a bug. Um, and now he's in the dirty air. You see that understeer? I mean, it's, it, you can't get anywhere near the car in front, which is maybe a flaw in the series. Maybe they need to sort that out. But we've got the lead. After starting second on the relay race, we've got the lead. Just, it was a very aggressive move. I mean, leave your comments below. What did you think of that? I thought it was just on the limit, okay. But I'm going to think that I'm going to be biased, and I, because I did it. So coming towards the end of the opening lap of the relay race and still got the lead. We're starting a gap as well, which is really good. I also got pole in Yas Marina by, I think it was like two tenths. So I clearly suited the track on this game in this car. And for the team race, obviously I'll start on pole. So that's really good. So to win this matchup, we need to win both Yas Marina races. A draw, we don't win. A loss, we don't win. So we can't make any mistakes. So you can see their red line boxing on the first lap. I'm doing the joker lap again. Uh, I've got the pace to do so and maybe extend or do a bit of an overcut and extend the gap. And you can see there we won the race just. We won on track by like three seconds. Uh, but I got a penalty for that turn one incident, a three second penalty. And we won by six tenths. So really close. Uh, so at this stage, one all going into the team race. And I'm on pole. Elvin and Isaac, I believe, were fifth and sixth again. And then the Team Redline boys, second, third and fourth. So this was it. This It all came down to one race and it was very tense. I got a really good start there. The Redline boys are kind of squabbling amongst themselves. Um, and you'll see later in the race, it doesn't unfold exactly how I want it to. It's um, this a very high pressure situation because the gap financial incentive between third in this championship and fourth was quite big. I, th I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was like five... Or 10 grand so you know that's you you want a to finish on the podium in a series rather than fourth um but you know the financial incentive as well is quite big so opening lap elvin and isaac to be fair to him got more amongst it compared to silverstone which i thought was really important you can see there that's elvin in the slipstream of the red line car down the inside locks up a bit goes slightly wide in the chicane and really aggressive on the red line driver going on to this next straight. Isaac's taken advantage of that and he's gone on the outside of both of them. Um, it's dirty. It's, it's on the limit, but it's got to be done. Like, otherwise, it, it'll be another draw. And I don't know how it works after that if Redline would have won, but I knew we had to... Jesus, that was... <laughs> that was aggressive from Elvin, but... You see, Isaac's through. He didn't do anything wrong. So even if Elvin gets a penalty, we, uh, we Isaac's still in fourth. So uh, that's imperative to winning this race overall on points. By the way, don't be alarmed. Yeah, don't worry if you don't get the format straight away. It's a very, very complicated format. Obviously, I know it very well because I did the series and there were many weeks of it. The group stage, the semi-finals, which we lost to Aston Martin and uh, the final. But, you know, at face value, I, I can understand it's probably a bit complicated. So later in the race, Michael Schmidl was behind me. Team Red Line decided to run very high downforce setups which ultimately was their downfall but in the third sector where there's corners they were Michael was all over me um, but on the straights if I got a good exit he couldn't get anywhere near me and driving a low downforce setups a lot more difficult than a high downforce one so the the team races are five laps long so I had Michael on my jacksy for pretty much all of the five laps and you know one lock up one wrong approach over a curb one half spin he's through and we lose the matchup and we lose five or ten grand so i remember it being quite um i was, I was a bit nervous but I, again this day i don't know some days you wake up better than other days but 
I just woke up in a good headspace. I, I could deliver in quali, in the relay race starts, in the team races. I was consistent. I just I was in a very good headspace, and I delivered a performance I was very proud of. Like I didn't make one mistake, and I pretty much got the maximum out of every lap I did. So it doesn't happen often. Usually nerves can take over, or you make a mistake, or we're all you know we're all human. But on this day, I was really happy against a team like Team Redline as well. Like you know, what more can you ask for? So. Again, I think this is lap three or four, the Team Redline driver. I think that's Enzo Benito, who had a very, you know, aggressive start with the two McLaren boys. He's doing everything he can to make sure he gets past the Isaac, because, you know, if he does, we draw the match up. But over the line, we managed to hang on. It was very, very close at the end there, and that wasn't the final lap. So I've made a mistake there in commentary, but we'll, we'll go with it. It's fine. I think this is the final lap. So Michael is so close, he's probably about six tenths behind me now. Um, so again, no mistakes, and it's so easy to lock up in these cars. No ABS, no TC, you know, borderline 800, 900 horsepower. It's, it's tricky to not make an error. Um, the tires get really hot, they get worn as well in a five lap race because they're really soft tires. So, you know, there's all the ingredients to make a mistake. And you can see there on the straight, if you look in the mirrors, you can just about see his car. He's not gaining, even if, even though he's in the slipstream, because we're running a lot less wing than he is. Breaking into the chicane, meeting our apexes, not making any mistakes. No mental moments on the wheel, just keeping it nice in a straight line. And I've got the pace to hang on to it. And uh, get that W, and then get the big money and the third place in the competition. I do honestly feel like we could have won this. Whole competition um, so the winners BMW we face them in the group stage we beat them in the group stage and when we race them we beat them 4-0 which gives you an idea of why I'm frustrated we didn't win and it was just because we went up against Aston Martin it was a 2-2 draw but they had two pole position no they had I don't know how they won but they won on some sort of count back and uh, they made the final and we didn't so just really unfortunate but you know fair play there were some really good teams in this Coming through the final corner, I believe this is the final lap. If you look on the helicopter thing, Michael is right behind us. We come over the line, we win by, I think, what was it? Four tenths of a second. And Isaac got fourth, Elvin got sixth. We won the team race 2 1 against Team Redline and just about got it. So financially, we were a bit better off. Third place in the series out of seven or eight teams, which I was happy with in our first season in the VTNR League, I think it was the second season of the series itself. And from my side, just one of those days where you wake up, you're in a good headspace, can deliver when you need to deliver, and it doesn't happen often. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I mean, it's a very complicated format. I hope you sort of understood. If you didn't, maybe go and watch it again. Give it a thumbs up. Comment what you thought of the league. The viewership's very low at this stage. Do you think it's got some legs on it? Do you think it can get an audience? I mean, I'd be intrigued to know. But yeah, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I'll see you all on the next one.